Presented by Cheritz. Supported by Grobido. Blinding white light fills my sight. My arms and legs feel lighter, and soon I feel my body hover. I gather the strength to walk forward, despite my feet barely touching the ground. No matter how far I go, white space continues without end. I open my eyes, but can't see or hear anything. I stop and look around. I see something blurred far away. I couldn't see properly because of the glaring light coming at me from all directions. All I could make out was a tall person, and another slightly shorter. Are you really okay with that? Yes. Do you believe? Who are they? What are they talking about? I don't know. Your answer does not match your actions. Ah, all right. That is what suits you right now. Do as you please. Except, remember that you are responsible for the consequences of your choice. Do not forget that everything was done solely by your own will. I understand. Now then, take this. The tall man hands over something. And the man who took it looked down for a while, and slowly turned to my side. His lips seemed to move a little. Let's go a little closer. Suddenly, a fierce wind started to rip through. The wind seemed to will me out of this place. Along the wind, a myriad of feathers flew around and blocked my sight. I parted through the wind blowing toward me, and made my way to him with all the strength I had. The moment I thought I finally reached him, I fell into a bottomless pit, along with countless feathers. Mm. I was woken up by the noisy alarm clock. <laughs>